Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. So today is going to be, I don't know how far we'll get, when I don't finish, I will do off camera basically episode. I've made this new room which will be sealed up and I haven't decided entrances and stuff like that right now. Probably like a little, you know, elevator or something, but you need ender pearls and I'm not quite there yet. So yeah, this is a little room that we're going to make with the boiler and the coke processing and everything for our new steam power. Uh, over here, um, I built this. Just wanted to show you. This was for fun. It shows, you know, who's online. So if you go Bob, right, or Bob like this, it'll have no signal. And if you go uh, Togi, for example, uh, or Electro Bot, I decided Togi was already there. Electro deserves it. And then it'll show a red signal because he's on right now. And um, you could do stuff. It's a redstone signal. So you could have fun and, you know, play an alarm or noise or whatever so it's just it's just something fun i also made this glass cutter it lets you break the glass without losing like you know getting shards and crap instead you get it back so in here is where we're gonna start we're gonna start with uh, a process hopefully here now i don't know if i have everything in here but i did compact most of it so it shouldn't be too bad so we'll see how it goes uh I'm going to have to do something. I think I'm going to need more wood now I think about it. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Was it 4, 8, 12, right? Yeah. I think that's what it's going to be. So we're going to take this paper first. And we're going to look at multi-machines, basically. And we're going to take a piece of charcoal and we're going to get carbon paper. And uh, use to copy or sign uh, uh, or use to copy a sign or a note block. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. I didn't know that. And uh, anyways, we're not using it for that, though. And then we're just going to put this... Oh. Oh, because I guess it has special MBT day. Oh, God. It doesn't... Yeah. So we're going to use this one. And then we're going to do the same with this guy here. And then we're going to put one... Okay, that worked. And there we go. Wait, what happens if you do that? Oh, it resets it? I guess you can... Oh, no, no, it doesn't stack. Bad me. Anyways, um, we made these blueprints, and basically this blueprint is an approved coke oven, which you wouldn't see normally in Greg Tech, and this is only in this pack, and basically it can make charcoal into coal coke as well as wood into charcoal and give you creosote. And that's what we're going to build today. And I think it's going to be somewhat worthwhile, hopefully, uh, to build that. So we have a bunch of brick bronze halls that's required. Uh, one of the things we're going to also need is this machine controller. Advanced alloy plates, which I've already made. Basically, it's iron, bronze, and tin makes this. And then you just go ahead and compress it in the advanced alloy. So I went ahead and did that. So let's start with this one here, this machine casing. So the machine casing requires the bronze hull, which oddly enough, I thought I had those, but apparently I don't. And here they are. I did have two of them already up and running, but uh, or ready for this episode, but I failed. And actually, I'm going to need more of those because then I realized I screwed up and then I needed a lot more of these in total. So if we're going to do that, I'm going to have to get more bronze... More bronze, more aluminum brass here, and we're going to have to get, uh, what was it there? Hammer. So we need a hammer. Let's get one with some durability because we don't want to waste time, basically. Okay, so we're going to have to make, uh, I think, six of these in total. So, eh, I hate when that happens. I guess we're doing it like this, huh? <laughs> when you're too lazy to just do it, there, there you go. And then, here we go, machine controller. So we're going to do this one. And so this should give you 12 of these in total. And you're going to use 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and th basically 3. You're going to use every side in the center with this. So we have a perfect amount. And then we're going to make three of these guys, the machine controllers, just gold plate or circuit. There you go. And quest is complete, apparently. Woohoo! And then that's it. Um, this is a hell of a drug. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oh, I made the um, high-pressured steam boiler for now. I didn't even really use it. I set it up and just gave up, basically. Yeah, there it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this up side-by-side, side in a sense. I hope I have enough room. I've done this before. I don't... One, two, three. Space. One, two, three. Space. One, two, three. Ah, shoot. Um, 
there ain't enough space really because your first one has the logs input then you have the liquid output and then hmm yeah it ain't gonna be enough unfortunately so we're gonna have to play around with that i wasn't thinking about that anyways we can look at what this looks like through here so you get an idea of how it looks and you can even do layers and stuff like that so you can splice it up and down so you can see the center is hollow and then you got your blocks here and uh, you can go back to that view if you want. But uh, yeah, I kind of screwed up on that. I wasn't thinking about my space in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and what I'll just end up doing is putting the glass out all the way, I guess. You could also stack this if you want. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, maybe I'll try that. We'll, we'll play around with it first. So let's go ahead with this. So the bottom layer, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do, hmm, maybe this should be closer over here. Actually, yeah, we're going to process over here. Let's do it this side here. Okay. I don't care. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we're going to do another set here, like the same idea. But I'm thinking actually doing this one a little more unique. So we left it a space there. I'm actually thinking of stacking this maybe because you could stack it. Two, three. There you go. And then we're going to stack it after. And then you got your controller here. Your controller here and then we're gonna have to make inputs outputs all that so uh, so you're gonna have to have it so you can put your items into it you're gonna have to have it so items can come out of it and you're gonna also have to have it so fluids come out of it so um, that's why we have all this stuff up here so tiny item input basically is this one so one two three that inputs items into it right and then tiny item output one two three damn it <laughs> well, you, you, you can convert them back and forth so i'll just make this again one two three there you go and then uh the fluid hatch out here we go so one two three and then so that's done that's done that's done the blueprint's done and that's for later okay so that's it we were we're rocking basically so let's go ahead and uh, do I have these? Yep. We're going to put these here too. So one, two, three, four. Oh, four. There we go. And then one, two, three, four. And then we can put all our inputs, outputs, etc. So, and apparently you can flip these any way you like. They changed that before you had to have them on a certain side. So, tiny item input, right? So, I was thinking the tree farm's over there. So, maybe I'll put the tiny item input like on this side for now. And uh, we'll just say yes. There's your tiny item up input, right? And then fluid output. Hmm. Well, this is the tough choice here. I'm not sure how I want to do this. So,. I didn't do the centered because chunks aren't centered, so that doesn't really matter, unfortunately. But uh, do I do fluid on the side here or the middle? Let's just do them in the middle, actually. There you go. Actually, hmm. I guess it really doesn't matter. Uh, tiny item input. Yeah, because it really doesn't matter. I'm like, hmm. You know what? We'll just do the fluid in the center for fun. There's the fluid and there's the fluid output. Okay. And then we'll have one, up, of course, on the top eventually. And then you need your uh, out item output. So this is basically throwing your chart, uh, coke coal out. So this one and this one. And then we're missing one. Tiny item input. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We've made this backwards. How did we... Oh, that's why. I got... Oh, because I was matching. You know what? I'm going to match it instead. I'm, I'm going to match them up like they I want. Yeah, we're going to do that. There you go. That's going to bother me if they're not matching. <laughs> but just keep in mind, they did set it so it doesn't matter anymore before it did. But I believe now it doesn't matter. So you can do it however you'd like if you really want to. I think I have enough room, but I don't know, actually. I think I might actually be off some room. Uh, let's see here. What am I looking for? I'm looking for some cobblestone. Do, do, do. Sure, just temporarily cobblestone. How high do this room go? One, two, three, one, two. Ah, uh, these can't go all the way to the roof unless you put a hole through the roof. Okay. That's going to be fine. We're going to do this over here then. Yeah, we'll do that. 
Yeah, I'll do the same theme. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm gonna I'm gonna have the weird two space. I know it looks weird, but I just decided, you know what? Screw it. It's how it's gonna be. And we'll do the controller here as well. And um yeah, we'll do the same thing here. So we'll just set this here. We'll set uh this here. And then I know I can go in my inventory and move this, but I'm like, eh, whatever. There you go. And then, oops, one, two, three, four. And there you go. And then you can do your top part here, which is basically adding the other, these blocks here to finish it off. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then, oh, you need to put a oomph into your jump. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, did I hit my... I guess on the, the roof I'm hitting my head when I try to do the further jumps. Three, there you go. And you can see they've just turned a slightly darker color, which actually doesn't really match. The brighter color actually matched these a bit more, but because of the color change, basically it knew that the, the structure is fine. See, so structure found. Then you put this recipe in it, which basically uh, lets you, you know, use that recipe. And then these are done. These are set up. Um, and then we can go ahead and do our thing here. So I swear I heard this go off, but maybe not. There you go. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to grab this. We're going to need these eventually, and we're going to look for this as well. Here we go. Where are you? There you go. Okay. So what we're going to do now is... Oh, and I need my fluid. Sorry. <laughs> you want your fluid ducts as well. Which should be in there as well. Yeah. They kind of always blend in for me, the fluid ducts. So sometimes I accidentally don't pay attention and miss them, but... Okay, so we're going to wire this all up. It'll be kind of messy, but it'll work. So let's start on this one. So, okay, this one is the tiny item input. This is the tiny item output, and then the fluid, right? So the fluid ones are going to all have to be connected no matter what. So let's connect these up right now, and there you go. And then we'll wrap it around because it has to go all the way over here. There you go. And that's item, so you don't need to go there. And there you go. This is the fluids over on this. Oh, wait. Is that fluid? Yeah, there you go. And <laughs> it's going to click you. There you go. So we actually don't need this one yet. We're just going to connect them the base level here. And then, okay, so item input, item input. And then item, item, item. And then we're going to keep going. So... If you don't know this, you, you'll you know it now that these connect. Um, can I just click this? I've never... There you go. Yeah, you can click it. There you go. Item, item, item. But you also have to connect this item, item, item. There you go. And then click this one. And I guess for now we can put a hole here. <laughs> item, item, item. And then... Yeah, we got the back one, so you're gonna have to connect to this item output, right? So there you go. And then this is the fluid hatch. So technically you don't have to connect there. Okay, there you go. So uh one of them is gonna output uh input, sorry, char uh coal. So we're gonna have item input, and this will be your basically your coal input or your sorry, your log input. So uh, we have to decide how we're going to do that. So basically, we're going to do insert, and we're going to say insert, I don't know, let's insert brown, I guess. Brown, yeah, insert brown. And uh, that's it. And then it, it doesn't extract So this because this is an in, uh, item input, right? And then item output here is going to be, let's say, uh, charcoal. Um so let's change that to gray, I guess. We'll do light gray. Actually, yeah, let's do gray. Light gray, make it easier. And uh, we did the wrong one. This is output, so we don't even need that, sorry. But uh, we'll do light gray here, and we'll make sure redstone, there you go. And this will extract light gray. 
And then for this one, this is the item input, we're going to insert light gray. And it doesn't need an extracting. And then same thing on this one. Oh, by the way, we forgot this side. Uh, we're going to do the same thing here. So let's go all the way here. And there we go. We're going to do extract, or sorry, insert, and light gray. There you go. So right now, light gray, light gray for the input. And then, of course, brown is the input on this. And then uh, light gray output from there. So this will produce, you put your logs in here, it'll output ch uh, coal or charcoal, and it'll put it into here and here. And it should be only two spots. Let's make sure I didn't derp up and put it in multiple spots. Yep, that's right. And that's good. And then you have your tiny out item output. So this is coal coke itself. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to extract that. And we're going to go dark gray. And we're going to say yes. And this one is also going to be the same thing. So we're going to go dark gray and it'll automatically extract redstone as well. Awesome. And then you have your fluids. So your fluids all can be the same thing. So basically fluids are going to just be no insert and an extract. And turn off that. Okay, so no insert, extract, no insert, and extract. And there you go. We have now our little setup here done, basically. All we now need to do is hook it up over there. Now, it's up to you how you want to do this. We have very limited uh, Ender IO conduits, mostly because of what we've been doing. So there are other conduits you can use. They're a bit slower, but they would work for this, um, which requires servos and some other things. Basically, here's an example of the item duct. And so you can go ahead and hit A on there. And then um, there's the servo as well, which you can go ahead and hit, sorry, A on this. Well, it doesn't matter. Uh, resonating. Okay. I know how to actually get the resonating really easily if I didn't use all my redstone. <laughs> so the servo here uses structural glass, which is steel and reinforced glass. Reinforced glass is advanced alloy in that. So is that literally the only way to get it? Yeah, it looks like it right now. So steel and reinforced glass and then glass dust and that. Okay, so let's do that now. That's it? Okay. I guess I've used it all up. Um, we don't need many any in that much anyways. Uh, well, that's six actually. You might need a lot. Um, so that makes four. And this makes four. Eh, I want some more glass dust. So let's get... Let's just do it by hand. It'll be quicker. Yes. Okay, so we can do this by hand rather than macering it because macering will take time. So we're going to throw this up here. There you go. We're going to throw this in here. There you go. That's actually better. More than I would have used, actually. Uh, okay, and then we're going to need steel plates. And steel plates are, come on, I open everything but the steel plates and our advanced alloy plates. There you go. <laughs> Anyways, uh, which one do we have to mix, right? There you go. Hopefully I'm doing this in the right. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, okay, yeah. So basically it's going to run and it'll create your glass. Yay! And then we'll do one more. Might as well just, you know, get a bunch made and then that will dupe it even more with this and then oh oh that's tiny alloy plate what tin alloy i failed you all oh it's tin and iron what the hell man they made this recipe more complex than i thought it would be um, somebody's trolling us. Tin and iron. What the heck? Okay. And here we go. So that's done. 
And then we're going to throw this in here, and then we're going to do the tin and iron. And ugh. Okay, so while we're doing that, we're going to work on our next thing. We're going to make one of those big duper blast furnaces. So you need a large bronze thing here, which you're going to need to make the large bronze here. And then you're going to need a bunch of... Apparently, I didn't even have any on me. We're going to need a bunch of bricks here. So let's do that. And I also need to check the JEI because it tells you here so we don't overly screw up. Uh, here it is. So this is... <laughs> the task list it looks pretty complex but it isn't that bad so let's go ahead and try this out so first thing you want to do is you're going to want to make the bronze halls here probably because it says you can make 27 of those or so okay let's not do this fairly shall we okay well we'll just do Wait, what did i miss already <laughs> the brick okay Oh, there we go. We almost made it a little too many. Okay, and then you're going to make the large steel uh, bronze boiler here, which is pretty simple. It's using that. And then you're going to need uh, the fuel box, which it wants just six of these. But you're going to need to make bronze rods, which, hey, we actually have some up here. I made them, uh, I made a lathe because you get more out of the lathe. So I was like, hey, you know what? I better make the lathe. And so I went ahead and did that. That's still going. Awesome. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and make the f this guy here, which I have over here, so it's easy. So basically, bronze plate and bronze rod gives you this frame, like a scaffolding. And then you can go ahead and use this, and you're going to do this twice. Task complete. Nice. And then you're going to do this bronze piping here, which you're going to need medium pipe, which actually we have medium pipe. Excellent. And you're just going to need, I think, two of those, but we'll get a little extra, of course. And what else do we have here? And, oh, yeah, you need to make all the LV stuff. So this is this is sort of what we just did with the modular machine mod and our, our improved Coke oven here. But now we're doing it for Greg Tech stuff. So you have your improved... Uh, you have your input bus and things like that. So we're going to have to... Let's clean up our inventory just for a second. This is hell of a messy um let's get rid of even the torches temporarily or whatever and let's get rid of the cobblestone here and even then i still messy but there you go i'm not gonna clean out my entire inventory i just want to make you know a few things so let's do this so you have your input bus so this is items in you have your output hatch which is liquid out oh that's what the glass was for by the way <laughs> yeah and i needed two glass for that I thought that was like a carryover from the other stuff. So you have your liquid uh, output, which would be your steam, basically. And then you have your liquid input, which would be your creosote going into it. And there you go. We quest complete for the large bronze boiler. And this is still somewhat going. We got a couple more to go, but whatever. Let's go uh, to the mall. Doo -doo. So we're going to hit R on here. And this is what it looks like. And this is a pretty simple one as well. I like this. Basically, you can slice this around. Uh, you can hold shift and you can hit this and it'll do each of the ones. So you can see some of these are going to be your firebox casing. Some of these are going to be your hatches and stuff. And then you're going to see that, you know, you, you got your middle here. You got your output hatch there. And you just work your way up. And yeah. So the bottom one, oddly enough, shows two, three. So you might actually have to make another one. Yeah, I think it might have been one off because you have your input ha hatch, output bus. Yeah, I don't think they showed that fairly, honestly. So we're going to have to probably fix that. Yeah, I think we need to. Um, if I need a, yeah, I feel like that one's going to be off, but I'm not sure. Can't hurt, right? Let's uh, let this finish up. So once you have the glass, you needed to make these, and you need to make these in plates as well. So it's like, oh, crap. Okay, you're done. See, we kind of maybe overdid that now, huh? <laughs> there you go. And we'll mix those two. Okay. So let's go down and make this now. We're definitely going to run over this episode. We've been doing that mostly in this series, but I think I've been doing better at just not, like, leaving you guys with crap all, so... 
that's what I've been trying anyway. So uh, let's see how we're going to do this. This is going to be your items or it can be and or fluids, right? So let's go with, um, let's see what we're going to start with. So sometimes it's better. You know what? Sometimes it's better to build it and then worry about that after. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So we'll just do a replace over time, right? And then we're going to do, hmm, we'll probably have the controller here and then the output here maybe. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, so we'll have this sitting here. And then what I think we'll do is we're going to have these guys sitting back here. And that should work. And then we're going to have the next level. Now keep in mind, if we looked in those slices, you're going to have this, oh crap. That was not supposed to happen. Uh, you're going to have this inside the middle. So let's just quickly check it again. So if we slice this down, the middle is this, that's fine. One, two, and then sealed. Okay, so you have two of these guys here. One, two, and then the rest of it is just sealed up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And yes, I had a feeling that might happen. We're one off, but then again, we did make uh, these guys on the bottom that might have taken an extra one. I forget, did you guys take them? No, they didn't. So, yeah, they unfortunately covered the amount you needed, but not the machine, or I don't know. Actually, now I think about it, we had extra. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I could have made a mistake somewhere too, but whatever. There you go. And invalid structure, of course, but that's probably because we still don't have the stuff set up, right? So, uh, output hatch, input hatch. So, this is your fluid input, and this is your input here as well. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and remove this one. Sorry. Oh, yeah, you break it with that. Sorry. One and two. And then we're going to do this. So, input, input, and output. Okay, so... Which one are you? It doesn't really matter. Which one comes first? I guess it doesn't matter. We'll do fluid. And then we'll do... Aha, you try to trick me in that. And then on the back here, we're going to do... I don't know if this is right. But I think we go back here and we can put this here. And yep, that's right. When you know it's doing it right, the everything blends in. So you don't even know those inputs are there. And there we go. Now what we have to do is we need to get a power... Uh, or sorry, a, a water source going. And if you don't, well, you're going to have boom. So basically, we're going to look at the Oculus Accumulator. Not a hard one. Uh, there you go. But you're going to need a few things. Fluid duct. Okay, so that's actually a really easy one. But we don't have lead that way. We have lead, we just don't have it that way. So we're going to get rid of you, 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 you. Oh, these are in the wrong spot anyways, but whatever. So yeah, we needed the extra firebox, I'm pretty sure, there. Okay, so let's just get rid of a couple things so we have inventory space here. So Oculus Accumulator. And oh yeah, so we're going to do you. And then so we're going to need the glass. We're going to need small bronze tubes here. One, two, three, four. And... Uh, we're going to need uh, glass, of course. One, two, three. Not a problem. And then we're going to need, uh, oh yeah, lead here. Here it is. So we have lead. We're going to make those into plates. So bending machine, you have your chip set to zero. That's what I was trying to figure out last time. I said, oh, I'm pretty sure we needed it for something else. And so you'll have that. Excellent. And then the Oculus Accumulator. So you're going to require a redstone signal uh, thing, wrought iron plates. I don't know if we have wrought iron plates. Um, let's see with the T here. No, we don't. So we're going to actually have to make wrought iron plates. Wait a minute. There we go. We do have wrought iron. So those also have to go through. <laughs> Oh, you're auto-injecting? Okay. So, we'll just go ahead and it's at 60, so that's 4. That's good enough for now. That'll do that. And then we're going to need a clock timer, my bopper. Just because I'm so cheap, we're going to go ahead and steal this one here. 
We'll just leave these here for the future. <laughs> and then we're going to need accumulator, which we can get upstairs. Or, or sorry, the uh, Everfull Urn. You probably want to make multiple of these. You can actually make it through this recipe too, which isn't hard, but it requires structural glass, which is literally what we're doing now. So technically it's not hard, but I still think this is much easier parts. This is like more later on when you have lots of the, the materials, you know. It just seems kind of a waste right now for me. But um, let's go up here and check this out, by the way. So you're doing your thing, which is fine. You got the tin alloy. Oh, and then with the tin alloy, Elsa has to be made into <laughs> plates. It seems like plates are kind of where it's at right now. Oh, what the? Oh, because it's probably a, a lighter metal or something. It goes so fast. Holy crap. Okay, that's cool. There you go. There you go. And then we're going to grab this guy down here, which we're going to have to break a few of these so we can get back up here. There we go. And sorry, buddy. You've served us well, but you are no more. We have a buffer. I'm not really worried about that running out right now. And then should we grab this now too? Because these are probably coming in. There we go. Probably need more than the four, but let's just get one thing at a time done. Okay, so we need to make you guys. There you go. And then what are we missing? We're missing... Oh, you got to be kidding me. Did I not pick up the urn? And before it's like one of those things that you can't pick up again, I I, I picked it up. Oh, yeah, there it is. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I broke it like several times. So there you go. I'll probably be enough there. But we never made the servo yet. And which one are we on now? We're not doing that one. We're doing this one. Sorry. Oculus accumulator. Yes. Okay. Then we're going to need a bucket of water. Actually, we're going to need two buckets of water, but whatever. You get what you can get, right? <laughs> and uh, okay. Oculus accumulator is made. And so you're done, you're done. And then we need a servo. So servo requires extractor one here. And it also requires, oh, it's a one-to-one. -one. Or you can use a conveyor, but we're not quite there. Uh, tin, iron, oh, and this redstone thing. This can be made easier uh, through this. I'm pretty sure it's fortune. Oh, no, it is the smelt method, actually. Shoot. We're going to have to do the ender pearl cutting. I didn't want to do this, but uh, I don't see another choice at this point. So we're going to cut up one of our ender pearls, I think. Yeah, we have two ender pearls. I wanted to save them, but whatever. For the sake of our Let's Play, I'm going to do that. You can make these better with uh, or cheaper with Obsidian Shard, but you have to pour Obsidian Shard, and I'm not going to do that. So you're going to need a glass cutter. Oh, our glass cutter. <laughs> The one that we use to break glass makes this awesome. And then, yeah, so that can do that. So you need four of that. Is that per, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going full blown here. And uh, here we go. There's two of those guys. And then who are we missing now? We need two iron plates and iron ingots. So, oh, iron. Oh, we have iron in our inventory anyway, so we need just the one, two, three, four, I guess, because it's actually, yeah, doubling it. And then iron here. There you go. You did not click it, did you? <laughs> and then get rid of these two just because my inventory. There you go. Oh, they're tin nuggets. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you're not paying attention, my friends. All the colors blend for me sometimes, so it's just like, eh. There you go. Servo. There you go. And that's a quest there. And then we got these guys, which we need plastic. And we're just going to throw this in here and be a litter bug. We're really, uh, like, scattering everything right now. And we got 30 of these, which I don't even think is actually enough for what we need. Horribly enough, but we would have had enough of this now. Yeah, this is going to go, like, probably be our longest episode so far, but I think it'll be a very valuable episode. There you go. We'll just get more. 
And okay, so let's go out and start some of this just so we have it going here. Uh, so let's figure out how we want to do this. Glass cutter, please. I know I'm going to do it underground, but uh, I'm thinking even to start with, do I care about that as much? So tiny item input. This is your tiny item. Oh, this is the input, right? But you don't need to do the... Oh, crap. That kind of broke that faster than expected. Yeah, whatever. Oh, it even gives you the colored of the glass back. So you can... Oh, there you go. We, we had enough to fix a single window. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go over here. And we're going to go to this farm right here. And we're going to go and get ourselves a shovel, I think, or something. And I probably don't even own a shovel. But we might as well do as fast as possible if we can. Um, that shovel wouldn't be enough to dig anything. Let's get rid of the extra of this. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of some plates. Because my inventory is going to get annoying here anyways. There you go. Okay. Sure, we'll just say that's good enough. Um, so let's get some flint here. So flint. I know I have some. Oh, I have none. There you go. One, two, three. And then we need to make... Uh, I guess I could just got that out of here. So I'm trying to just make a simple shovel, but it's like at the same time, it's like, do you even own a shovel? Okay. Oh, you got. Oh, I got it. Never mind. I lagged there. My computer actually lagged. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down and do this underground like this. So. And I have to do this up above as well, but we'll just we'll come back and do it kind of thing. Okay, and it's so dark that we do have torches, thankfully. Okay, because so we don't want to... Uh... I'm not really worried about mobs spawning. I'm more worried about actually seeing the intersection here. Okay, so I'm overdoing this, I'm pretty sure. So it's a little further than one should go, but it's more so we can see. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. We'll just go under here. And this one will go here. And then we'll just feed it all the way over here. And if, yeah, yeah, we're going to intersect. There we go. And so what we're going to do here, my friends, is we're going to put this new piping in here, the item duct. And we're going to go like this, and we're going to feed it all the way down here. And then all the way over here. And then we're going to dig this up again. We're going to go back up here. So we'll just go, there we go. And we're going to go ahead and get that. There you go. Did I get it? Oh. Apparently the middle mouse doesn't want to work that way. Maybe it was a range thing. I don't know. There you go. And then what we're going to go over here is we're going to take the servo. We only need one, but I built two just because why not. And we're going to have this one as redstone enabled to ignore. And it will start slowly. We should see the wood pumping out of here. And you know it's working. Pumping the wood. Now I think this is enough to move it fast enough. But we can always, always change it later on as well, right? Do something different. But I'm pretty sure that's enough to make this go. And if this is fully working, this should be really moving fast. So um, I just realized I have an input hatch here. Oh, son of a... You don't need one. I'm missing one. You know what I'm missing? A secondary input hatch. You know what it's for? Water. They didn't say that on the thing, I don't think. <laughs> I wonder if they were thinking purely Coke or... I don't know. Okay, anyways. Um, LV hatch. Okay, sorry. I need another fluid hatch here. So we need an LME. Okay, we, we need this. So we need this. And we need two tin cables. And we're going to go like this. And this is the LV hatch. 
And then we're going to go over here. We're going to put that with glass, I think, and that's it. Now, it depends on the order, I think, but uh, you don't want output, you want input. There you go. And that should do what we want. And then it should auto-assemble once again here. And then what we're going to do is also put an accumulator under here. So let's clear this up. So we'll put this in here and it should, you know, form again. Excellent. And then what we're going to do is put an accumulator here. And we're going to put a bucket of water here. And then we're going to go in and grab one more bucket of water. I had to think where my water was. <laughs> Like, hmm, it is late at night. It is 5.01 a.m., by the way, so I am a little tired, but, you know, I did plan this pretty decently, uh, I would say. You know, I'm not bragging on that. You know, I'm not perfect, that's for sure, but I feel like I did an okay job this time. So there it is. It is processing it. Uh, if we check over here, you can see this is empty, um, but we should be able to go over here, and you're going to see there's a piece of coke coal here, and then there's... Oh, that's coke coal. That's going out. Yeah, yeah, because you can't go anywhere yet. And this is the input for the items. No, that's fluid. Oh, so you go on the side here, so you're already eating it, right? Oh, there's two charcoal here. And how much charcoal is over here? Ah, uh, you know what? We're going to change one thing on this. So this is the output, right? What we're going to do is put a round robin. There you go. So it'll go one, two, one, two, one, two. And then what we're going to do just to get the system kind of kind of kickstart, fired up, is we're going to get charcoal. And then that way we can monitor it. Because what's happening is the one makes charcoal and the other two make coke coal. The coke coal is twice as long. So basically you can make two charcoal for the time it takes to make uh, one coke so that's why we have two coke creators and one charcoal creator and uh, but you kind of want to watch it kind of work a little bit better I guess why so if we put this in here and it's running one in there anyways but if we put this one in here there you go so this will go 33 this will be 33 so in theory this should be working so yeah, you're working you're working and then, of course, the fluids are coming out here. And then on the back of each of these. Oh, have you never been running yet? Hmm. Yeah, because there's nothing hooked up to these yet. So this one hasn't even made one, but the round rib round robin I don't think is working. So output gray. There's the light gray. And here's also light gray, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirty-two. Okay, no, it's working. Thirty-two. Okay. You should be thirty-two. Yeah, and then it hits thirty. Okay, it is working. Then I don't know what I missed there. Okay, two of them in there. Okay, we're good. Five of them. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we're ready to wire it all up to this setup. So, uh, if everything is good over here, you want to confirm and make sure uh, your boiler uh, is there. It tells you about your steam input. You check on this side, of course, and you have your output hatch. That's your steam. And then this is your water going in, which runs underneath, so you don't even have to pay attention to it. And the accumulator should be fine. So, basically, you got your input hatch here, which is items, and this is the liquid. So, put your item one in there. Put your liquid in here, just so you know which ones is which. And then let's start. So if you want to look at the closest method would be probably to connect to this one over here. That way you can kind of do it without, you know, worrying about it too much. Uh, so yeah, let's start. So item, 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 item. And there you go. Connected. And then fluid, fluid. And then might as well run on the same path, right? So we'll click, 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 click. There you go. And then what we're going to do is, remember the output on this one is a black, right? So the first thing we're going to do is insert, and then we're going to change this to black. Oh, we should have probably done this first, sorry. Hopefully we didn't screw this up with something stupid yet. Okay, there you go. And then we're going to have this as insert only, and this will start filling up with the fluid, hopefully. Oh, it's not connected here. Oh, shoot. 
Okay, because there's fluid in it, it's not going to play ball. What you're going to have to do for this is you're going to need a wrench. We have a crescent hammer, and it works on this. I don't think the Greg Tech hammers work for this. The crescent hammer should be in there, but I don't see it. It is in there. Holy crap. There it is. Oh, because it's... <laughs> This, I think, can change the orientation of blocks. I think that was actually happening there. Uh, so you need both the creosol and coal, at least to start with, working here. So we need to hopefully... There we go. Link these up. There you go. So that'll fill up quite a bit. This will still keep filling up. Yeah, that was running out. Okay. That's it. We're done. This will produce, I believe it's like 800 or 900 millibuckets a tick of steam. The small boiler is like 5 or 6. The big one is like 15 or 16 uh, millibuckets a tick, just to give you an idea. The ones that we have upstairs. This thing will produce more than we need. And then all we have to do is pipe this up here into our floor. And of course, that is the machine room here. When this blows up, if it were to blow up, it's basically because you fed it water when it was uh, hot. There is a known bug right now, I believe, if you were to let it cool down and then do it, it would break. So make sure you just basically dismantle. I think your large boiler controller here is probably the main one you want to dismantle. What you could do is do that, fill this up with cold water, then place that back, and then you should be safe. The blast radius maxed out. Uh, the video I did where I blew up my entire base is a joke. I think it was like, you know, maybe four or five blocks, but because of the depth there, it should not touch a single machine above. Eventually, what I'll do is find like a reinforced block to maybe layer it anyways, but this shouldn't blow up. This shouldn't have issues. You shouldn't have problems, so that that shouldn't be a problem. This does look like it's keeping up with wood, which is good. You don't have to worry about that. And then... Once this is heated up, um, it doesn't seem to use more heat if it's heating during its heating process. Or sorry, it doesn't seem to use more creosote or coke while it's heating up, by the way. But what I would recommend is once it gets to max heat, which is 500, just stop giving it coke coal. It will play a, a bouncing number around uh, basically 400 and uh, I think 85 or so to 500 C. So you can actually store away all your coke coal and use it as like a backup reserve or something else later on if you need it. Um, just sort of a fun thing. But um, yeah, basically that's it. We're done. This is our automated system. This will provide us m with tons of steam. We shouldn't be making more than enough wood as well with three trees there. Uh, if we aren't over time though, of course, I can always uh, you know fix that, increase it, use a different type of wood. But we shouldn't have too many issues, to be honest. And that's it. We're done. So thank you so much for watching. This is our longest Let's Play episode probably ever in Minecraft. Hopefully not ever. But uh, either way, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that fun stuff. And let's let's quickly just grab our rewards because we just we do definitely deserve them. So here is Coke Coal, Integrated Circuit, that... This was from this boiler I made off camera. Advanced, oh, these are advanced mechanism pipes. The only reason you want to use these is because they have a better pump rate, but the capacity is not needed. The ones we have now is a thousand capacity. All of these pump out, so they you don't actually have to worry about pumping it out. The they automatically pump out for you, so they'll use the full thousand on the current advanced pipes we're going to be using. So uh, I'll be using. Uh, off camera, of course, I'll be just using the advanced pipes wherever they are, these ones. And they have a capacity of 1,000. Like I said, that's like eight or 900, so it's enough. And I think that's it for that. And then let's just see what we are finally on here. Ooh, 24. Benner is still ahead of me, so I think he was at like 23-ish, so he might have just went up a percent. But anyways, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.